Yes, yes, y'all. Time Machine, that is Relic, Rel McCoy, and we've got him on the phone with us right now. What's good, brother? Hey, hey, how you doing, man? Very good, very good. Just chilling out here. You are out on the road right now, are you not? Yeah, yeah, I've been out here for about a week now, having some fun with the man Ghetto Sox. That's what's good. Whereabouts are you guys at right now? Uh, we're in Halifax right now, doing some uh, some East Coast stuff. Nice. Mm-hmm. Halifax, Halifax. How's the East Coast life treating you out there? It's beautiful, man. I love it out here. It's great. People are friendly. The shows have been good. Good response. Nice. Uh, been had a couple of couple of days to to do some other work as well and uh, hang with the Mangetto Sox and drink a few beers here and there. It's been good. That's good. Definitely, it's good to. Good to be able to get that chance to hang a little bit. Sometimes when you get on that tour tour life and you're on the road and just doing show after show after show, it can get a little tedious. But you get a chance to just kind of like kick it back for a minute and like take a second to breathe is nice. Absolutely, man. It's it's going to change though. We've <laughs> our dates out in the west are, are looking like they're they're a little bit more back to back than they are out here, and there's a whole bunch more to do. It's a coast to coast tour that we're on, so it's a it's a long. A long run. A long run, yes, definitely. All the way from one side of the country to the other side of the country. You can dip your hand in, in each ocean. Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. It's, it's, it's good to be out here and, and doing this again. Man, we had a, we had a tour back uh, in February that went really well, the Golden Tour. And, uh, of course, you know that because we, we, we had a really great show out in Guelph. Yes, yes. Um, which we, we do have another show coming up there as well at, at Biggie's. On next Friday, June sixth. Looking forward to That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's dope, man. People out there, are great, uh, great fun, man. Definitely, yeah. People are stoked to see you guys back here for sure. Yeah, yeah. Should be a good one. So you're you're out there on the road. You've done all all this work getting the uh, the golden record out there, and now you're just hitting the road and getting getting more people to to hear about it. What's it like just getting a chance to to do some of these new records in front of the fans and seeing the reactions? It's really cool, man. It's, it's it's dope when people say, "Hey, like this particular song that you did, I want to make sure that I get that CD from you." And and you know, like, how do we keep on touch online? That that sort of stuff is really cool. And, and the response has been really cool so far. And the response in February was amazing too. Um, so just out here, man, just letting people know what it is, you know, just doing the thing. That's was good. And you were telling me when we were in the studio the other week that you're trying to uh, incorporate a little bit more of the MPC into your set and doing more like performance type stuff with like having the turntablism and the uh, the beat making and the MCing all in in one. There is that something that you're you're taking on the road with you for this one? Yeah, yeah, that's right. For those that know me, they'll know that I, I've I've been doing shows with uh, with my buddy Fresh Kills for the better part of three years now, and so he's sort of been sort of my 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 backup man with the mpc and he's playing live mpc stuff while i'm sort of rapping and singing and our tour schedules and our our lives sort of get a little bit divided here and there so he's touring in one place while i'm touring in another so i kind of like uh facilitated the need for me to like figure out how to be a little bit more self-sufficient and be able to do the same sort of stuff on my own so and as a producer and dj as well it was kind of like you know i kind of got a I've got to, you know, incorporate that stuff and show that I do these things as well so people don't just think of me as an MC, which I think most people do at this point. So, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I've got the MPC and a turntable, and I just, like, go up there and just do the one-man band thing, you know? That's crazy. That's it's dope to see, and and I don't think a lot of people do recognize how much <laughs> actual work goes into covering all the facets of it. When you're making the beat and you're laying the cuts down for it, you're mixing it, everything, you're singing, you're rapping, you're doing all all of the facets to making the track. It's like there's a lot of work that that gets involved in that, and it's awesome to, that you get a chance to be able to showcase that because I think it's it's essential and it's important for people to know that you're the one behind everything in in the creation process of of the songs that you make yeah it's a lot of work man but it's like it's the the love that just you know to make the music that drives you to you know to do each aspect that you know that you want to do and and try sort of hone your skill in each one and and it's been a lot of fun man the response to the live like a little bit of live npc incorporated in my set and the djing has been been really cool man it just adds a different dynamic to it and you know it makes it it makes for a fun show definitely 
more interactive. And you know what? Um, we did a show just on the weekend there in Barry, and uh, one of the acts there, Goliath Paw, he comes out with his full band. He's got like a drummer there and a guitar and a DJ behind him and everything. And it just adds a little bit more having that whole band aspect, the live feel of like something being created on the stage is like it, there's an extra kind of energy, and the fans are always a little bit more amped when that happens and when you can see visually a lot more things happening on the stage that are like whoa okay this guy's doing this and that like even with those animal nation guys you know what i mean uh that were just on tour with with swollen members and yeah and i know the animal they, nation, man. Good yeah where, where they were well, got a chance to to meet them for the first time when i was down at your at your spot there and um yeah, they're they're great. Like the, they have such a dynamic set with the one guy on uh, the MPC and rapping, another guy you know on the guitar and singing, and then they got another guy doing the DJing and rapping and singing and stuff. And like all together, it looks really dope. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's a really it's a really cool show that those guys have, man. Those guys are those guys are doing a lot of touring and traveling around and stuff too. So people will recognize their names. So definitely, it's getting out there. The hustle. Yeah. The hustle is yeah. real. Yeah, man, no doubt. You know what it is, man. You're out on the road yourself uh, here and there, like doing all kinds of stuff with Mocha and Swan and, and uh, Snack and all these guys, man. It's really cool. Thanks, brother. Just putting in that work, man, doing doing the same thing you're doing, just what we love, right? Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. I'm going to put you on a sec. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. I, I didn't uh, take the opportunity to let Sox know how the, how the interview is going, going down. So you just stand here wondering what I'm doing taking over the interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. we got to get a little bit of both of you guys, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, absolutely. The, the one final question I want to get with you is um, just a little bit more to uh, let people know about your, you, you know, the mixing skills that you do and the fact that you do own your own studio there, Reservoir Studios, and, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of MCs that I know that I work with and that are out there in the game that are, get their mixing and stuff for you. If listeners don't know, you've done a lot of the work for uh, for Shad's projects. Um, we're also featured on on his albums and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. how uh, how you know let let the people know a little bit about that side of your your life and like being in the studio and the demands that it takes for you to uh, be sitting there and, and mixing these tracks and also what it's like kind of working with people like Shad. Yeah, well, that's my full-time job is running the studio, right? And recording people and, and producing stuff and, and mixing songs for people. So it's been a really, it's been a really, um, I'm really thankful that I decided to get into that because it's been a really lucrative thing for me to be able to sort of do music full-time. That's kind of like the main revenue stream that I have. So it's, uh, it's time-consuming and it's, uh, it's, it's really sort of like super technical at times and, uh, and it's cool because you meet a whole bunch of different people, like, you know, word of mouth sort of happens. And then, you know, different people come in from here and there and, and being able to work with guys like, like Shad and like Thrust and, and YOK and Corey D's and Jay Schultz and, and New Breed and, and all kinds of different guys and, and people like Ghetto Socks and stuff like it's been really, it's been really cool, man. That aspect of it is sort of like when you're working in the studio with people sort of, you know, you sort of create a, a cool bond with people and, and get to sort of lend your experience and your ear to their records as well, too. So it's, it's really a cool, I'm really thankful for that, that part of, you know, what it is that I do. Definitely. Definitely. It's clutch. And, and there is a lot more, even just to the music. We've had, you know, many sessions where we get into conversations talking about grant writing and talking about show booking and all sorts of stuff. And, you know, when you're just in, in the studio with other MCs that are on that same path that you are, it's always good to be able to feed off each other and, and, and gain some information. Yeah, man. That's what's yep. good. That's what's up. Well, I'm looking forward to getting you out here in Guelph. You're going to be here in uh, in less than a oh no, about a week, week and a bit. Next Friday, June sixth, down at Biggie's. Should be a good. Yeah, time. man, I can't wait. Should be a good time for sure. All right, well, uh, I'll let you go and uh, get let's get socks on here. We can talk to him for a little bit as well. Yeah, for sure, man. It's good talking to you. And again, thanks for the for the opportunity with the with the radio show, man. It's really dope. It's good to see you doing your thing there, man. No doubt, man. Always, anytime.